America was a certain way. I never knew that there was a secret government, a black ops program that went around killing American citizens. I was shocked when I found out about Ted Gunderson, head of the FBI in LA. And his investigations took him to um, sex underground ring um, to the White House. And they poisoned him many times. And he spoke out against 911 and other conspiracies. Okay, so let's have a quick chat. So, the Mandela effect, um, and I like to go over this every so often, um, what happened is a place named CERN is playing with parallel universes. And you have other side sister groups too, but CERN's the popular public speaking one. They have the Sheba, the God of Destruction, a statue of the God of Destruction in front of CERN. And their logo is 666. That's the same number for the devil. And there's a real God and there's a real devil at play. You're, you live in a world where there really is a good fighting evil. There's a real physical God and a real physical devil. And uh, we have parallel shifted now. String theory. Hang on, hang on a second. Okay, you're going to pretend, right, for a second? This has been going on. I, I parallel shifted many times. I, used, I originally come forward the buffalo were completely extinct. And a thing came, named Smog used to come down before our school and we had to hold our breath to the car and miss re recess. True story. Buffaloes were extinct. Now, here's what's happening. This guy's in two different universes. Universe 1, Universe 2. Universe 1, Universe 2. And see, this guy, his name is Harold, Harold Red. See, the tree and everything. And what he's doing is he has an essence in this universe and that ball represents his essence in that universe. That little red ball only has the memory of this timeline here in this universe. And this red ball only has the memory of universe one. See, universe one is at top, universe two is at the bottom. He has a white sun, he has a yellow sun. And what he's doing, his essence, not really him, see there's two different faces, two different physical realities. But his essence is a thing that travels to different places, not him, not his skin but his, his uh, free will, um, his, his consciousness, his conscience, his essence. And he's doing this through, through trillions of universes, he's going like that. What happened this time is that the ball that has the memory for universe two, and then the ball that has universe, the memory for universe one, these two balls, see, were moved. So this ball came into this universe, having the memory of this one, but now it's in this one. And it's looking around this one, but it has a memory of that one. That's what pretty much happened. It's possible they switch places too. This one went up here, that one went down there. But he's vibrating. You threw a rock in the pond, you make all those riffles, you represent the rock. The riffles, it will be the outside seat, outside layer of you. When they go inside of your skin, inside of anything, it gets smaller, 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 so there's nothing there. And that's called the string theory. That's the vibrational area. That part's going through all the different universes. That's your essence. So, you're in four different universes. Universe one, Universe 2, Universe 3, Universe 4, and you're going like that. But see, the essence in this one only has memory of that one. Essence in that one only gets the memory of that one. Even though that one essence is going through all of them. It's connected to each one of them. But while they're in that one universe, see, you're doing this with all of them. But while your essence is in this universe, that ball represents the essence. Then it goes fiber in that one, but it only remembers that one. Then it vibrates in that one, the only remember is that one. And yet you get a physical shell around your essence in each timeline. A physical shell that's brand new. We have parallel shifted with the Mandela effect to a brand new universe. You're on a brand new planet. Everything you see is a copy. Even your own skin, your own body. It's just your essence has made it. Mandela effect. Thanks for watching. The world's ran by reptilian hybrids. In case you didn't know. And uh, Antichrist is about to come onto the scene. Trillion hybrids are trying this new program called gang stalking where they're going to roll out the, the new police on the public in the future. They're going to crash the market, put checkpoints up on the corners, military everywhere, FEMA camps, just like you heard. Implement the chip in your arm. 
And these are the fallen angels. This is the children of the gray aliens and humans. They're crossbreeding them. Then you're getting the star children, which is the reptilian hybrids or humanoids. But they're on a different frequency than you and me. They can't love. And they can talk telepathy in each other's minds, and they, 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 they run the U.S. government, they run the police stations, all the big hospitals, they run it all. These are not exactly humanoid like you and me. They have um, supernatural powers because they're partly angelic too. There's, there's a, a d demonic property to them. You do not want to know. You do not want to be left alone with three, four of them. Um, you need the blood of Christ to protect you in this dark time coming. The Antichrist is coming to the scene. Um, God, creator of all matter, he came to earth as a human to tell you he loved you and he walked. His name is Jesus Christ. And you were... Um, you come from Adam and Eve. They were in a garden in paradise. The first man and first woman, they were married forever. And they were supposed to obey all the rules but not eat from one tree in the middle of the garden. The tree of good and evil, the knowledge tree. And when they ate from it, they disobeyed God. In turn, they, fought, they, they obeyed Lucifer. Because Lucifer tempted him at the tree and they obeyed him. They gave him the, 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 the first man and first woman gave Lucifer the power over earth. Um, at one time it was God's government, and we lived forever, there was no poisons, there was no cancers, but when man relinquished that right and gave it to Lucifer, Lucifer didn't have the power to, to, uh, to withstand life, because, you know, he was a uh, sinner. And his biggest illusion was to make you think there's no Lucifer, because there's, no, there's no Lucifer, there's no God. And they feared Jesus Christ, there's a lot of power in his name and following his Ten Commandments and taking the Sabbath day off, which is Saturday, and making that day real holy. That's the day you pray and you give God worship and you thank him for all the things that you have. And it's a very important day to God. So the Antichrist will be on the scene soon and you got to get your heart right with Jesus. you got to follow all Ten Commandments and forgive your enemies. Um, it's possible too that... The Medela effect might still be happening. We might still be shifting. Um, the Antichrist will probably step on the scene. Then um, he'll get wiped out by a fake Christ, in my opinion. It'll, it'll be a, a setup to make the Antichrist look like he came and went. The fake Christ will walk around and claim to be Christ. Um, yeah, this, it's going to get pretty ugly. Uh, huge earthquakes are coming, um, massive famine. The whole world's going through a tribulation. It's the birth pains, and it's coming toward America now because they're about to crash the system and try and put us under the new world order. I think it's, they're going to fail tremendously in, in America. I mean, you can say you're going to ride that tiger until you get on top of that tiger and try to ride it. It's a different story. Okay, thanks for watching Night Chat. And get your heart right with Jesus Christ. Get a King James Version of the Bible. Um, just remember, it, all this stuff is kind of scary. The Bible's been messed with. But just know that Jesus Christ is God. He came to earth, he walked, he healed everyone, he was very forgiving. You don't forgive anything you did, and you say you're sorry, and you turn around, and you go the other direction completely, and you follow all Ten Commandments. And if you do that, you'll get the Holy Spirit. Tell God, please send me the Holy Spirit, Lord in heaven. He'll send you the Holy Spirit to help guide you. He'll give you the spirit of discernment where you can see things right in front of your face that we don't normally see. And then, when we die, we'll, we go to heaven. Um, it's possible Jesus Christ is coming back really soon, I would say, in the next two to seven years in my opinion because things in the world are biblical never before people oh you've been saying that for thousands of years yeah but things in the world are biblical folks this these are the, the birth pains even even in in israel in the desert they got spring water popping up from rocks all over the place and that's in the bible too um yeah i got attacked by a light demon i prayed out to jesus christ he sent a whole bunch of white orbs they showed up love filled the room they circled the room and the light creature got his butt kicked Thanks for watching. True story.